Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video. Now, this is going to be an ad hoc video, so I'm going to be reading without a script. So, you know, bear with me if I kind of like lose my footing here and there. So, at the time of recording this video, it is January 6th, 2025 at 12.29am. And actually the news itself for this particular article is about from, you know, seven days ago, right? So, this is... This news article from Kinder Pharmaceuticals that we're looking at on the screen right now was released 2024, December 30th at 10.30 a.m., I believe. Now, the title of this article, this news press report release, whatever it's called, would be First Subject Enrollment in Phase 3 Stage of KXA26 1% for AGA, also known as Androgenetic Alopecia. So, it says over here, Kinder Pharmaceutical Limited announced that the company has successfully completed the first subject enrollment recently in phase three stage, the phase three stage pivotal clinical trial of its in-house developed and potential first in-class KX86 tincture 1% for the treatment of male adult androgenetic alopecia in China. The pivotal clinical trial is a multi-center randomized double-blind vehicle controlled phase 2-3 or 3-2, so it's a second phase 3 study with adaptive designs to evaluate the efficacy and safety of KX826 1% for the topical treatment of male adults with androgenetic alopecia in China. The pivotal clinical trial adopts a phase 3-2 or 2-3 operational seamless design, namely 2-in-1 design, and it's with Professor Zhang and Professor Zhao from Peking University's People's Hospital as the lead principal investigator. The phase three stage is expected to involve 25 clinical research centers in China, so this is really large, and enroll 666 patients within five months. So we're gonna be getting some huge amounts of data, right? This is gonna be a lot of people. So this can take, you know, Let's, let's, let's keep reading, right? So the patients will receive treatments with the stipulated dosages over a period of 24 weeks, so it's about half a year, followed by one-month safety observations. The phase three stage is, is expected to complete by the end of 2025. So, you know, at the end of 2025, there should be some sort of, you know, press report that they come out with, obviously, that decides, you know, whether or not this thing was successful, right? If it reached that statistical significance. I think it will, to be honest. I think there's a lot of promise for KXA26, particularly at the 1% concentration. They go on to say that, quote, the company's preclinical studies have shown KXA26 tincture 1% has significantly increased the retention concentration of the tincture on the human scalp cells compared to KXA26 tincture 0.5%, used in the previous phase three clinical trial and is expected to enhance the clinical efficacy. The clinical trial of KXA26 tincture 1% is expected to maintain excellent safety profile and present superior efficacy compared to KXA26 at the 5% concentration. So this is some good news, right? And wow, it's been, I wanna say the last video that I made, it was the December 2023 phase three clinical trial um, that, you know, everyone was a bit disappointed about. The initial phase three from China that looked at KXA26 at a 0 0.5 concentration, right? And from what we learned in my recent interview with Kintor, there was a sort of compliance issue, right? Part of that clinical trial was done during COVID. So there could have been some issues with, you know, the the compliance and in fact there there was some issues with that so that could have messed up with the statistical results between the treatment arm the kx826 0.5 milligram sorry 0.5 percent concentration treatment topical treatment versus the placebo right so now that we're not dealing with uh covid and hopefully we don't have to deal with any more pandemics kintor is kind of getting a bit of a fresh you know like restart for their phase three, but this time they're testing at a 1% concentration, topically applied. That was one of my initial kind of like, you know, points of interest. 
I kind of thought, okay, maybe the concentration was a bit too low, being 0.5% concentration in the in the December 2023 Chinese phase three clinical trial of KXA26, 0.5% concentration. I thought that was a bit too low, but this time around, uh, they're doing it at a, you know, at 1%, right? So a higher concentration from what we know from Fick's law, right? The higher the concentration, the more the, I guess you can say penetration, right? Because it creates a concentration gradient and it helps the molecule go through the skin and reach the derma papilla. So you're getting more of that molecule being KXA26, reaching the derma papilla, blocking the androgen receptors in those cells and preventing DHT from binding to those androgen receptors and eliciting their harmful effects on hair follicles that have the genetics for androgenetic alopecia. So hopefully everything goes well here. Hopefully this, you know, by the end of 2025, we're going to be looking at some good news regarding KXA26, pyrolutamide. And yeah, um, so this is just a bit of an update for you guys to look at. And for people who are kind of interested, there is the whole Co-Shine KXA26 that's available on Kintor's uh, website. I will be putting that in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. Um, there's no code, right? It's just for you guys to go check it out and to see if you would be a candidate to use it. However, that's it for this video. That's it for this quick update. But yeah, I will be releasing this a little bit later on within the month, so I'll be scheduling it later. But hopefully this kind of brings a bit of a awareness to the audience. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.